What is up YouTube? It is Matty and yes it is time to do an emphatic war recap. So it's been a little while since I was able to uh, do a proper recap and um, so looking forward to, to run through this one with you guys. So the war was against Corjum Jade um, and I think it was 3 TH11s versus... Um, is that a 3? Is that a... No. Versus 2. Um, I'm pretty sure this top one was a... 11, yep. Yeah. And then on the 10 front, I think it was down to 14 was a 10. I think 15 was a 15 was a 10, but with no um, infernos. So it's down to 15 on their side, and on as it was down to 12, 13 if you count me. But I hadn't. I'd I'd gone 10 between. Um, so at the start of this war as a 9 anyway, it doesn't matter too much but the score was 83 to 60 and on the 3 star count we're looking at 23 versus 4 in a 30 man war so pretty good um, if we look at our side or the, side, um, the enemy side in terms of their bases we took down all of them uh, all the 9's 1, 2, um, one, two three, four, four tunnel, tri tunnel 10 trips on the lower, and then we took down, we were able to take down number seven, number three, and number two as well. So, to be honest, that's, an, that's a really good war. Um, not too good, not too great in terms of tunnel nine content, because a lot of the nines in there were weak. Um, however, on the tunnel tens, so we got, we got some good stuff to go through. So, uh, let's have a little a little cheeky look and we're going to start off by looking at Dax's raid on number 19 um, it's a pretty old school base design it's a pretty yeah poor base design um, but I like the fact that he went back to basics and did a bit of a govalo so golems and valks in to destroy the core loons to destroy the remaining defenses it's pretty pretty simple in in the the concept of the raid all he's got to do guide his golems and valkyries in so couple of golems down, a couple of wizards to create the funnel to make sure that the uh, the third golem, the Valkyries and the Queen and King go the right way. I presume he's going to send the King, uh, sorry, the Queen um, and Val King and Valks in once the CC's been triggered. So he's just waiting now, jump spell should be going down, there it is. Hounds come out, there go all the Valkyries, he misclicked the Queen ability there by the look of it. King is in as well. Because it's a hound, he can just sort of rage and rush everything through. He, he's using a heal spell in uh, inside. The, Valkyrie, the Valkyries are currently in the core. They're taking down the king. Um, he needs them to stay alive and basically just start gutting out that core. Um, the queen on the air defense. There are some pups still roaming around. The queen should take care of those, though. Um, still got a good number of Valkyries in the core. Golem's in there as well. King in a good spot. And look, hasting in a couple of loons. One was a little bit early because the air defense was still up, but it was okay. He uh, managed to survive, or most of the loons did anyway. You can see he's taking down the wizard tower next, and those loons are just going to move through. Another haste for a couple more loons to go in. Doesn't need to use rage, he just needs to use this speed ability here to, uh, to help his guys rush through. Unfortunately, the wizard there's nothing you can do about those wizard towers, just have to deal with them. Um... He's gonna got. He's got an, another loon. I mean, he's good. He's 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 cooked this base. Um, final loon going in. Look, and there you go. Couple of uh, got a swag poison and barb there, but yeah, pretty, relatively straightforward. But nice, nicely executed, nicely done. Um, good raid by Dax. Next one I want to show is number eighteen by Hardy. Let's have a little look. Uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Sorry, uh, thinks yeah, Jack, seventeen. Here you are, look, a higher level base. A bit, but why has he got a level six king? I don't understand. Like, he got a level seventeen queen, um, lava walls, max defense, and a level six king. It's just silly. Anyway, Jack's going in, doing an AQ walk go over her. Um, so. Queen's down. She's taking a bit of damage, but she'll uh, it'll all level out in a minute when she's taking down that final cannon. And what's going to happen now? He's sending a single 
golem in. A couple of wizards to funnel. He's going to funnel in some Valkyries. Now watch the placement of the Valkyries. He's going to place him right on the elixir storage. Because those triple wizards are taking down the other storages. Making sure they can't deviate. Wall breaking in. That went fine. That that. And there you go, straight onto the dark elixir storage. Um, sorry, onto the uh, normal elixir storage. Queen is still moving. Actually, Queen's decided to break in, which is actually going to help him because he's going to be able to take down all those um, defenses and a giant bomb threat by the expo. Um, the king, the Valks are all moving inwards, which is working very nice. A couple of hogs down at the start, just to go and take those side defences down. It would have been great if these left hogs would have moved to the cannon, actually. Um, although they would have got swamped by that Tesla. But here comes the main group of hogs. Look, they're all in together. They're going to all start heading towards the expo. Um in a roundabout way. I think a natural heal point's coming up now. Um, maybe he's going to hold off a little bit. I would have probably dropped my heal down now, but he's dropped it down a little bit later and a little bit deeper. A lot of the Tesla's taking down a, or trying to take down a couple of those hogs. Um, but actually, that heal spell seems to have worked quite nicely for him. It's caught a Valkyrie or two as well, which is which is even better. Um, just needs to take care of those um, skeletons, which is about to happen because all the defenses are gone. And there you go, the raid is cooked. Um, Queen on good health. <laughs> oh yeah, Queen just running around the outside taking defences down and there it is, look. So, yeah, very nice raid. Um, that's why I wanted to show that one. So next one we're moving up to was... We'll do Chase. Uh, let's have a look. I think he's... Yeah. It's still, it's, a, it's a, basically a, a shattered Laloon. A couple of golems in, a couple of wizards to funnel... Queen down, Queen taking down the outside defences, so this is a 9.5 versus 9.5, no, no, no infernos there, um, but the, the 9.5 on the enemy side, it's got 20 and 16 heroes, people don't seem to get it, um, within obviously Emphatic Elite, because our hero, we have certain hero requirements, um, obviously we, I suppose we only see um, the norm for us which is high level heroes and if and if it's you going into tunnel 10 you go there with like 30 30 you're ready to, you're cooking so that as soon as you hit tunnel 10 you've got level 31 queen you know that 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 is the normal for us but I suppose outside of our little bubble um, not a lot of people or not you know there is the war community um, but outside of that um, People just don't seem to to get that heroes make this make or break this game and make or break a lot of raids, um, which is the case. Getting to forty forty as fast as possible at channel ten is imperative if you want to if you want to be able to three star. Um, that's just fact. Anyway, carrying on. This raid is now finished. Um, let's have a little look at was it fourteen? Um, let's have a scout. Yeah. So this base, um, someone else gave it a try and tried to do like a quad golem in through, I think, was it Hardy? No, it might have been Hardy. And um, tried to do a quad golem in through, uh, what, what time is that? Like 4.35 4 o'clock. Get into and then send in some um, giants as well to go and take down the core and then hog the rest. But the way I saw it, was that if I sent a couple of golems in through nine o'clock, um, I could firstly earthquake open the entire earthquake open the core. Um, I knew that it was a dragon and a single loon in the CC. I thought I'm not going to bother poisoning that. Um, I'll use my two two quakes and well, I'll use my four quakes, but that includes my two dark spells in that. So then I've got a rage spell and then three heals, obviously because I've got the extra heal, the extra spell now because of my tunnel, because um, I've, I've, I've gone tunnel 10. So I decided to send Valkyries in with Golems and the King and the Queen all into the core to try and just tank those Inferno Towers and, and take them down. Meanwhile, there's no double giant bomb threats through the base. So I just thought if I spam the hogs into these two defences here, with my troops going in through... Um, nine o'clock and landing in the core the hogs are going to path around the outside of the base um which is exactly what i wanted them to do just move through and around the edge of the defenses and hopefully something would be left to take down the second inferno tower and then the raid would be done let's have a little look because it worked quite well actually um where are we 
We're going to start at 9 o'clock, I think. I don't think there was any anything. I wasn't doing any CC laws or anything like that. There you can see Golem 1 down. Golem 2 down. All I need to do now is make sure the funnel was right. I did bring a giant because I wasn't sure if that arch tower was going to get tanked, and it didn't. So I bought a giant so to allow my two wizards here to take down that st um, collector and then the gold storage. I really wanted that gold storage to go down to maximise my chance of my um, queen not walking around the edge. Um, and you can see there we go it, and it's worked like a treat. So I was really happy about that. Earthquaking in. Holding back on my king until the uh, CC was in it to sort of start to lure. King and queen going in now. Rage spell down to help deal with the king, the Valks, sorry, the uh, loon and the go loon and the dragon. Um, queen is in a good spot. She's taking down the dragon now, and you can see I've sent the hogs in all twenty. Uh, I don't know how many I had about twenty. All of them straight in at the top. Look, they're starting to move around the edge. I'm just waiting on that first heal spell. I pulled, up, picked up a load of skeleton traps though, like all of them. Um, and they're just going to be following my hogs around the base, which is highly annoying. Watch the queen pop to her ability to take down the second inferno tower. Meanwhile, the hogs are still moving around the outside of the base. I've still got a heal spell to keep them alive. Um, and in fact, I didn't want. I didn't need to hold back anymore. I just dropped the heal spell down, kept them all alive. I was looking good. The Valkyries had broke back out the base. Um, I dropped a, sing a couple of wizards down to start uh, clearing the outside buildings up, and that's it. Raid was done. I caught, th I think, three giant bombs on the uh, with the with the charge in, with my kill squad. Um, fourth one was at the top there. You can see, which was I think I'd healed that spot anyway. Um, there was a fifth somewhere. I don't know if we're going to trip it, um, or if I already have tripped it. But yeah, this I had like a minute and a half left on the clock. I think on the end of this raid, so pre pretty much destroyed. Um, it was. <laughs> It's, it was fun. I really enjoyed that one. Moving through to number 12, let's look at Rev to see what he's dropping. Because again, two cord infernos, but they're lower level. Um, so, how is he going to deal with it? He's doing an AQ Walk Laloom. So, using a giant and some wizards at the top there to try and funnel. Now, funneling can be difficult sometimes, particularly when you've got defences that are in the way. Um, the cannon has stuck. The cannon started tanking now for him, which is good. Um, and I think if she targets the air defense next, oh, she's going to take the Tesla first, then she'll take the air defense. Then she should start pushing to the right, which is the way it looks like he wanted her to go. She's taking the wizard tower down first, but after that, look, she's now moving into spot. She will go for the builder hut next. Oh, the expo! I didn't think she'd go that deep, actually. That's going to have helped him out. Uh, one less expo to worry about. And she's now walking the way he wants to walk, which is perfect. She's And you can see the external def air defences. He's got a king down as well. To, I, I, I think his king's there just to help uh, take down some buildings. Or um, You've got to just be careful it doesn't drive the queen in, um, like onto the wall to start breaking inwards. That's the only thing. Um, but with all these exposed air defences, one's already down. T second one's going to go down soon. The healers have switched target there, which can be dangerous, particularly if like a deep set arch tower or expo get involved on the queen, um, which could happen very soon. There, there's an expo on her, but the, the healers have switched back, um, which is pretty cool. The king's decided to break in randomly, and um, that's going to help the queen break in. Um, whether he wanted to or not, or whether he's going to go for the extra air defense, I'm not too sure yet. I think he might have been happy with the two, but the only thing he's got to be worried about is the Inferno Tower. But he's got three, um, he's actually gone in to go and get the Queen, which is perfect, and the CC pull. And he's got the poison there with the Rage spell, so he's looking good He's looking good at the moment. The Queen needs, yeah, I was going to say, ability needs to, <laughs> to pop there. He's, um... Doing okay. He's going to break inside now. The king is still running around the edge, um, taking down some a bit of trash buildings. But as far as the rest of the raid goes, here comes the La Loon. Look, sending a load of um, loons straight into the core. Now that was a clever idea because he needs those Inferno's towers to go down quick. He's got three freeze spells for this. Unfortunately, that second freeze did not catch the um, second Inferno tower. So he needs to make sure his final freeze does. And there it is, look. And the loons are there ready. They're going to be taking it down next if they can, if he can get them to move. Um, but it's down. And then the loons have come through to the final part of the raid. So very interesting loon deployment. I love the fact that he sent all those loons into the core directly to go and deal with the um, Inferno Towers. And that worked like a charm. There you go. Got the three star. Beautiful raid. 
Next one we're going to show is number 11 by Exlif. Let's have a little look. Um, just trying to find where the entry point is. I tried this red and completely flopped it, but that was a really smart start. It's a nice way to do it. Single hog to get the pull, and a wizard to take down a defense, and then a poison to, to, to eliminate most of the CC and take the dragon down to near near death. Um, so it's a really that was copied from Sam the Knights. Um, he he did that, he did that start first, and it's a very clever start. Um, I I would I can't think of a better way to 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 um, do a CC pull. Unfortunately, Sam the Knight's queen ran the ran the wrong way. Um, Exif corrects that by sli placing it slightly further over, using a wizard to uh, do a little bit of funneling for him. And then I think she's going to take down the. Uh, is she? I don't know if she's going to take the arch tower down actually. But he's done a nice rage spell there to keep the queen alive. The queen and the king are going inside now. You just need to take down the two air defenses and the um, queen. Once that's done, he's going to be looking good. The king smashing through, just take taking everything down. Um, the queen's in a good spot as well. Use the ability there. Needs to tr preferably get that inferno down. Um, it looks like it's about to go soon. There it goes. Now with the inferno gone, the second air defense gone as well. He's just got two air defenses and a few and um, to take down. So here comes the Laloon look. Two hands in first. Huge widespread on the loons. Let's watch what he does. Got one free spell to help with the inferno tower, and he's got haste spells to push those loons in. That's working quite nicely so far. The loons are starting to clump together. Tra got to deal with that Tesla farm though. That's the only thing. Now the rage spells there to try and help take down that Tesla farm. You can see a load of loons have all gathered together. Hound is sat on top of the air defense. That's not doing any damage. Inferno is done. A nice loon split there because that will take the air defense down. All the Teslas are down now. And, and But he's got quite a lot of defenses. So that's the only thing left. If only healers could target... Um, could target loons because those could have come over and done a little bit of helping and that that um those sweepers are a little bit devastating at the moment because it's it's hitting um i think it was hitting both sets of loons for a little while there but i love the fact the loons travel back because now what that's going to give an opportunity for is the hound to run up front so here he goes look um the hound's going to go up front and start tanking for the wizard tower the arch tower he has got a minion down but that was so slightly premature hound has popped due to the um Sorry, yeah, due to the air bomb. But he's just waiting for those loons to get into that sweeper. It's so infuriating when they uh, just just about. But look at this. Oh, man. So close. But got it. Um, so, yeah, worked out to be a, an, a, worked out to be very close in the end with that final loon. Um, anyway, we're going to carry on moving up to number 7. We've got solid Tunnel 10 versus Tunnel 10. Max Inferno's. Um, tunnel 9 ADs, max expos, max sweepers, um, max wizard towers. So it's a, you know it's, it's coming up to max tunnel nine. Uh, tunnel ten, sorry. Still a little bit of a way to go. Start with the queen walk. Uh, looking like he wants look looking like he wants to push her to the um, clockwise. And I think she, she, once she takes down the arch tower, she should start going to the dark star, dark spell factory. Oh no, she's taking the spell factory down first. Then she should the dark barrack should pull her along the way as long as that gold storage went down, which it did. And there you go. The wizards are now going to die, but that's irrelevant. He's done his job. Um, got the queen to to head towards the right way. Arch tower going down now, and he should get the uh, should get the air defense. I, I think it's sat f j one tile too close, so it can actually be directly targeted. We're about to find out. And the air defense is in a position where it's taking down a healer, but he got there quick enough. You can see. Um, Earthquake has been dropped, so that's opened up the base quite significantly. He's got five witches, a pekka, two golems. Um, he's going to be doing a pretty hefty ground attack soon. But meanwhile, but for now, the queen is carrying on moving around the outside of the base. I'm wondering if the queen's going to get into a, a position where she's going to be directly targeted by the enemy queen. Um, that's going to be very interesting if that happens. I think now is the point where she might pull in. And if she go, if she can reach that sweeper, which I don't think she can, but no, um, it looks like it's going to be the the rest of the ground force that's going to be taken on the queen. 
but he's doing a huge walk for her. Here we go, look. Two golems in. Wizard's funneling on the left side, on the uh, upper side, because he's got the queen on the bottom side. Um, with those golems in, the queen can start to regain some health. King going to go in. He's got the ability as well. Extra golem. Sorry, extra pecker. Um, witches, wizards, everything's going in now. Um, he's going to need to drop a freeze down at some point. Um, there it goes, and everything's going in now. He needs to get that Inferno down nice and quick. The, the CC have come out to play. Can he get the Inferno down? I think he's done it. Yep, um, everything's moving in at a good, a good speed now. Um, the only thing he's got to deal with is the remainder, the final Inferno Tower. With so many troops going into the base so quickly, particularly all those witches dropping skellies down to distract the Inferno Tower. Um, the Queen's going into a dangerous position because she could soon be targeted, able to target the Inferno Tower. I'm sure he's going to pop the ability. There it goes. Look, take down that clan castle and then she's going to hit the Inferno. And with that Inferno gone, the raid is secured um, because of the amount of witches he's got left. And there you go. King's on good health. Queen's on good health. Um, witches there. The jumps to let them through. Golems are there. And you've still got witches moving around the outside and the inside. The raid is done. The base is destroyed. And it's not even a close one. It's absolutely wrecked. So amazing attack by Solid. Huge queen walk um, into a hefty, hefty go wee wee or go wee wipe. Um, and that seems to have worked wonders on that base. It absolutely trashed it. Um, okay. Oop. Oh. Going to flick up to number three now to check out Lord Aziz dropping a three star. Um, the man himself, seven golems, 15 wizards. So it's a very, very heavy ground attack. You can get, once you've got, when you've got big wide open bases like this, a lot of golems can do a lot of tanking, particularly for your heroes. Um, Aziz hasn't got the 40 40. He's only got a 25 king, which obviously a lot, a lot of Tunnel Nines even have higher than that. Um, but he's putting it, he's putting him, putting him to the paces. So here it goes. King breaking in. Um, two jumps for the girl on the other side. And everything's starting to head in now. And what he's looking for is to get his troops into the core quickly. Um, to take down the inf first internal inferno tower quickly, which he did. That rage spell really helped with that. And then he's looking to break through to that second inferno tower and get it down. Because he's got so many golems, the golems are going to actually tank those inferno beams. And the beauty of that is um, that it keeps the wizards alive. Because if the, if the beams are uh, all in use, see one's taken up by the king, some on the golems, some on the barbarians. The wizards are still there just doing some damage. So a lot of the wizards have actually survived. Um... Inferno is now done. The Queen and the King are in the core. So that's the only danger now. To, he's got to get to that outer layer. So he's going to have to break through the wall. Um, the Queen is still hitting defences, which is good. Um, the King is going to die soon. The cannon is on him. And I don't think anything's going to stop that. So the King's dead. Um, it's The question now is how many Golems can tank for his Queen to go and finish the rest of the base. The Golems are still doing some good damage. And there is a, like a single wizard going ham over there. It's taking down an air defense it's gonna if it takes down that cannon that's even better it's going to the cannon go on if that gets that cannon he's gonna be good he's gonna be good wow cannon done that clutch wizard um and he's just still ca carrying on t taking down defenses and here we go look the uh the final tesla the queen's in position and boom no no there is sorry one more tesla Golemite's moving towards it. They're going to sit there tanking. They'll do some damage to it if they can. The wizard's going to come back with a vengeance here. Oh, he wasn't needed. The Golemites did it for him. Very, uh, very nice. Um, got the three. Beautiful attack by Aziz. Um, yeah, really nice. Been at, dropping those seven Golems into that base just did wonders. Um, glad to see you on, in, in my video, my, my friend. King Alistair, our town 11. One of our Tunnel 11s dropping a 3. You see he's got Max Witches. He's got the um, level 5 Warden. Dropping an early Quake in the core. Just because he had an extra spell. And wanted to do a bit of damage to the Eagle the Artillery. And we start with a Queen Walk. Now the question is. Where's the Queen walking and why? Um, she's heading anti-clockwise. Looks like she's heading to a breaking point. I think what he wants to do is try and get the Queen to go and get that Eagle Artillery. Maybe. Um... The artillery started firing now. It's hitting the golem. Let's see the damage it's doing. Uh, see, it's not that... Oh, it is doing a bit of... 
It does some damage, but I mean, it's not like the end of the world if you, <laughs> when your golem gets targeted. Queen's in a dangerous position here. The, the healers are getting hit. The queen, he's popped the ability. Um, he needs to get those healers out of range. He's sending in everything down through the bottom side now. The king needs to go in. The warden's there. And remember, the warden gives a HP buff to everything. So with those witches under HP buff, um, and he's got the invincibility when he needs to use it, it's going to be... There it is. There's the invincibility now. All his troops can just move through unharmed. Um, he could have complemented that with a rage. I think I'd have dropped the rage and the ability at the same time, probably, to uh, to go have invulnerable ra um, raged wizards move... Um, sorry, skellies moving through. Um... But it seems to have worked out in the end. The king's just hammering through the core. The queen is n in good health moving around the outside as well. There, there's a lot of skeletons still alive. And that's what's going to do it here. All that needs to happen is the um, the wizard towers need to go down quickly. And not be sat there taking down the um, the the actual witches themselves. The skellies can, defect, can tank for so long. But it's the splash damage which can do the damage in this um, here. But he's still got the HP buff because the Warden is still sat there alive, which is ideal. Um, I mean, the raid's as good as done. Once those skellies go back inside, which they are, Ben's just woke up and running inside the room now. So we're going to have a little bit of distraction. But hopefully I can finish the video in good stead without too much. Hi, Ben. Um, anyway, the raid is done. No more splash left. Loads of witches to clear up the base. And nothing can stop him. So Queen's still good. Um, Warden's still alive at the end of the raid, which is nice to see. So, Tannel 11, absolutely destroyed. I will flick through the, the top video as well, because it was um, very close attack by the Sam Knights. Again, another Tannel 11. Um, let's have a little look, because he got a very high percentage. So, let's see what he's going to do. Queen walk to start. Um, let's have a look. Rage to help keep her alive there. She's moving around the outside. She's going to take on the enemy Queen, which she did. She's... <laughs> It's very close because she he's had to use another one. Yeah. What? Oh yes, it's uh, salad cream. Can you say salad cream? Salad cream. Yeah. Say hi YouTube. Hi Bubble. Hi. <laughs> say uh, three star. Three star. No, it's not quite a three star actually this time. Um. Uh oh. Uh. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> anyway, he got close, um, but there's so many segments in that base that he couldn't quite break through deep enough, quick enough. Anyway, the raid's done, the video's done. Hope you've enjoyed this war recap, guys. Sorry uh, that Ben's come in and disrupted the end. It's fine, it's fine. Oh my god, he's got Prosecco glasses. Anyway, I've got to go, guys. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.